Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, July the 14th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray and Tropical Storm Barry still hanging in there like a rusty fish hook this morning over western Louisiana. Hard to pick out the uh, swirl here uh, in the uh, infrared satellite imagery this morning. Uh, still uh, a very unusual storm. Most of the convection well removed from the center as it has been the entire time. But it has, has had a very distinct wind field. Uh, radar shows the uh, distinct um, uh, center this morning now northwest of Alexandria, Louisiana, south of Shreveport. Top winds still 45 miles an hour on the 7 a.m. advisory. It is expected to become a tropical depression later this uh, morning or this afternoon, early this afternoon, probably on that 1 o'clock advisory. Here's the wind field currently across the southern United States showing uh, strongest winds still offshore uh, there, but uh, gusts 35, 40 miles an hour common across parts of uh, eastern Louisiana. I uh, found a gust 35 miles an hour at Alexandria, also at Natchez, Mississippi, when I was reviewing surface reports. This is the uh, watch warning advisory map showing the only tropical storm warning still remaining uh, associated with that heavier convection still offshore of the Louisiana coast there between Cameron and Vermilion Bay, about where uh, Hurricane Barry came ashore yesterday. We do, uh, we do note that earlier there was a tornado warning near Hattiesburg and the National Weather Service in Slidell just issued another tornado warning for East Baton Rouge Parish uh, in southeastern Louisiana. And uh, that's going to be the story today. The shear is maximized over um, parts of uh, Mississippi, eastern Louisiana. Uh, we don't expect that to get into western Alabama very much today, but we'll be tracking it closely just in case. Uh, still breezy conditions through the day tonight uh, across uh, western Mississippi. Uh, a few breezy conditions sliding into uh, eastern Alabama, or I'm sorry, western Alabama as well, uh, as the surface low continues to track to the north. Now we'll be watching the precipitable water, water values because uh, they'll be coming up today across Alabama, pushing over two inches. Not extremely uh, above normal for this time of year. Uh, but the, uh, with those uh, humidity and moisture levels maximized, we'll see uh, the possibility of some heavy rain today. Uh, with any of the outer rain bands that slide into uh, Alabama start to interact with a little bit of surface heating, uh, we could see some uh, quick uh, half inch to one inch rainfall amounts in almost no time uh, if one of those showers gets over you. Uh, the, for, really, the depictions of uh, what's going to happen this afternoon not very impressive across Alabama uh, again scattered showers and thunderstorms loosely organized into convective bands and uh, some of them could contain lightning uh, outside chance one of them could become severe and uh, a very small chance that we could see an isolated spin-up tornado even though shear values are just not that impressive highs today uh, being the lower and middle 80s across western Alabama Generally middle and upper 80s in the I-65 corridor, some upper 80s and lower 90s over East Alabama. There's the SPC severe weather outlook today, showing that marginal risk of severe weather across the western counties, places like uh, Florence, Hamilton, Jasper, Fayette, Tuscaloosa, on to the south. Uh, could see an isolated threat of a severe storm uh, today uh, with the very, very small chance of an isolated tornado. Going through the maps using the GFS as our model of choice today. This is Monday. You see the uh, surface reflection of the remnants of Barry there over western uh, uh, Arkansas, somewhere west of Little Rock. Another band of uh, rain and thunderstorms tries to work its way into Alabama during the day. I think shear values might be just a bit better tomorrow, so we'll uh, watch for a chance of severe weather. The SPC does not have Alabama in the day two outlook but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if that could change. Now, Tuesday, the uh, surface lows in Missouri beginning to uh, make the turn around the surface ridge over the southeast here in Alabama will begin to dry out. High pressure begins to uh, take more control of our weather. It still will be breezy, though. I didn't really mention this for Monday, but Monday will be fairly breezy. Tuesday, the pressure gradient even a little bit greater. We may see our breeziest day Tuesday. Look at those gusts, uh, 20, 25 miles an hour over areas generally north 
of I-59. That'll be interesting to watch. Wednesday, um, Barry begins to move on out to the northeast, trails the surface uh, front back into Alabama. That may increase our rain chances just a bit as that surface front try, tries to slide on in. Again, more of the same for Thursday. And by Friday, that front is beginning to settle into south central parts of Alabama. And by Saturday, and Sunday, again, a better drain chances to the south, high pressure beginning to build into Alabama. Now, what's going to be interesting is at the end of the period, big anti-cyclone develops at the surface over the eastern United States, trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere over the east, also uh, leading to some slightly cooler and uh, certainly drier conditions. If you can call middle to upper 80s in July um, a gift, we'll take it. Uh, but between now and then, we're going to have some hot temperatures. We'll be uh, upper 80s to near 90 today and tomorrow. Then with that high pressure building over us for Tuesday, Wednesday, and into the weekend, uh, the GFS hinting that we might get near 100 by next Sunday. Now, I don't know if that's really going to happen or not, but we'll be keeping a close eye on that. The good news is nothing else in the tropics threatening, uh, but we are heading deeper into tropical season, so we're going to have to uh, deal with more and more things that the Atlantic Basin throws at us. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, July 14th. James Spann will be back tomorrow, two a day. Scott will be here next Saturday, and I'll see you again this time next Sunday. And until then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.